Uh, hello again everybody. This is uh, an update on my uh, the big rebuild of my model railway layout and I've been working on the th third corner um, which is the castle or the ruined castle. So I'll, uh, I'll show you how I've gone with that. But first just to recap there's the waterfall corner with the river and then along the back as far as that piece of wall that sticks out there which I haven't decided what to do around that yet then continuing on from there past the uh, oh that piece of property there actually belongs to a chap in Canada and he wanted a bit of real estate on my uh, layout his name's David Atkins from Kamloops. There's the mining corner and then along the back wall past the hills of the valleys or north of the valleys of South Wales past the forest and there is the castle or the ruined castle complete with its moat and then along here this is what I'm going to do next uh, there'll be that piece of scenery will be going because that's a part of the old layout but I'm going to have a campsite along there and then along that back wall there will be an industrial area and in the far corner over there a farm and then I haven't decided what to do along the back wall yet which leads you back to the waterfall now I wanted uh, a forest near the castle I tried painting it on the wall but I was no good at it so I did this I got some microfiber wadding and split it as, uh, as was suggested and stained it brown sprinkled it with uh, stuff and now I'm cutting it into strips uh, fairly narrow for the moment about an inch wide because these are the trees that go at the top of the hill so they'll be much smaller or they'll look smaller and then I'm cutting off little pieces about three eighths of an inch or thereabouts and now I'm taking each piece and just cutting a little bit off each side of what will be the top to give it like a point and then I'm sticking them on the wall like that and I'm going to work my way down getting bigger and bigger as I come down and that was the result and the trains are going to go through a tunnel underneath the hill uh, in there and come out there so I built a little simple portal or portals one at each end then using cardboard I made a flat top hill for the castle to sit on used plaster of Paris where necessary painted it all brown and uh, now we're ready to get started with building the castle I'm now going to attempt to build the castle itself and uh, what I've done I've been to a place called Ogmore where there are the ruins of a castle and although I haven't got the space uh, to build the entire castle I'm using it as uh, inspiration for the shapes of the uh, ruined walls etc and to do that first of all this is the base on which I've got to work to build whatever it is I'm going to build and it obviously won't be to double O scale but because it's on the top of the hill it will just look as if it's in the distance so that's the base I'm going to use uh, this thin cardboard for uh, the, the, the base of the walls or the basic walls which I'm then going to attempt to cover with this floral foam 
which I can mark the stones on. So I've never done that before, uh, but we'll try it. And then I have um, some aluminium foil, kitchen foil, which I'm going to use to texture the stones. And I'm going to stick it all together with deluxe card, uh, rocket uh, card glue. So let's see how we can get on with that. I've now cut out the various pieces that I think uh, will do the job. And there's the front one. And I stuck the foam onto the face of it. So now I've got to shape the foam and uh, see if I can make the uh, stonework on it. I've now uh, put foam on both sides of the uh, cardboard cutout and uh, I've pressed, indented the face of it with, uh, with this and I still want to do those but I'm waiting for the, the uh, glue to dry there and then finish off the top of the walls. So uh, it's coming along. And now I can form the moat and uh, I've got the walls painted. I'm quite pleased with it. Well there we have it and uh, need some more finishing touches but in the meantime I'm going to carry on around the room with the back uh, backdrop scenery. Well that's it for this time folks and um, thanks very much indeed for watching. Uh, in editing this video I've left out all the boring bits of uh, how it was done. Uh, so if you do want any more uh, information on how I actually went about it, please uh, drop us a comment and I'll be pleased to answer. Because as I was learning a lot doing it, I was using materials I'd never used before uh, and uh, I learned quite a lot about it. Oh, right, anyway, thanks very much indeed for watching and hopefully you'll come back and see how I get on down the other two walls. Bye for now.